We wait and see what this hurricane season has in store. A lot of people are still dealing with the damage from last year's storms. News 6 reporter Catherine Silver is in Seminole County, where officials are giving us an inside look at how they are getting ready. And Catherine, today they're talking about storm debris. That's right. All of these trees, they're nice in the summer, but you don't want what's in your yard in June and July to end up on your house, in your street, or in your storm drain come September. That's why the county is sharing these simple reminders now to clear out tree limbs and any dead brush before a storm hits. Every inch of my house was had water touching it. Preston Hayworth says water surrounded his home on the St. Johns River after Hurricane Ian. His family ended up evacuating from the Sanford Farms area by boat. I had so much stress from this. How do you feel heading into this season? I am scared. A word I won't say on uh, in public. <laughs> what has dried out after Ian has left behind a mess still visible in May, eight months later. There's been supply chain issues. People are still in, uh, in RVs in front of their home. Emergency manager Alan Harris spoke in front of county, city and state partners Thursday to go over their debris management plan. Insight into their priorities before hurricane season starts. Where we're going to place debris sites how we're going to do collection. It is important if you have just moved into Central Florida, know that debris is not going to be picked up in weeks. It is not going to be the garbage truck. It will take months to pick up debris. Here's a glimpse of how much debris he's talking about. Both Ian and Nicole generated 1 million cubic yards of waste, according to the county. Basically, it's 11 spaceship Earths at Epcot Center. Harris says county crews and contractors work throughout the year, cutting down and clearing out what could cause problems down the road. Waste management has this reminder for homeowners to do their part. That material needs to be prepared and put out with your regular yard waste on the regular yard waste day. And that means bundled, trash cans, small pieces that can be handled by a normal crew. And those are some basic rules to keep in mind if you're thinking about doing yard work this weekend. We have the full guidelines in Seminole County posted for you on our website. It's clickorlando.com. I'm live in Seminole County. Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.